Today, I want to answer the question, how do you move an OpenTunes project or scene from one computer to another? Or how to share it with another user? Perhaps to work collaboratively on a project, or to share it with someone to look into and hopefully solve a problem that you have. And if this is what you need, this video is for you. Hello friends, and today we'll take a look at moving a scene or project. And there's three scenarios we'll go through, and there's a link to each of them in the description so you can jump to the scenario that you have. First, I'll show you how to copy the whole project and its scenes to another computer. Then, we'll export one scene out of a project into its own project and copy that to another computer, either from one of your created projects or from the default sandbox project. And finally, I'll show you how to also include assets that are referenced outside of your project. For instance, audio files, images, and videos. But first, let's take a quick look at scenes and projects. And if you have any questions about this or anything else OpenTunes related, you can ask over on my Discord, or join in to chat with other animators to share your work or ask for advice. And you'll find the link in the description. So first we need to be clear about what a project is. And a project is the place where you create your animations. And when you first run OpenTunes, there's a sandbox project already created for you that you can use, but it can get unwieldy really quickly if you create too many animations in there. So I always recommend not using the sandbox, but creating a new project for each animation, just so that you can keep your drawings and files separate from other animations. And until you change your preferences, you can only create projects in the projects folder in your OpenTunes stuff folder. Then once you've decided which project you're using, you create a scene. And you can create multiple scenes in a project, but again, until you start sharing assets, I'd suggest that you create one scene in each project. But these choices are up to you. And if we take a look at a project on disk, you'll see that the sandbox is its own project inside your OpenTunes stuff folder. And then we have this projects folder which is the default location for any new project you create. And the contents of either the sandbox or of one of your projects folders will be the same. A number of folders to keep your assets separate, and then a scenes folder containing a file for each of your scenes. And a scene file only stores the order of what is on your timeline or X sheet, not the drawings themselves. So my next tip is to always use save all to save all of the contents of the scene and don't save the scene separately. So that's enough about the files on disk, let's start moving them. So first we'll look at the simple scenario. You've created a new project by clicking the new project button on the startup pop-up and then you've either added one or more scenes to it. And this first technique copies all of the scenes that are in a project. So first, let's see where the files are. And if you're using the standard OpenTune setup and haven't tried to save your project elsewhere, then your created projects will be found on your C drive, in the OpenTune stuff folder, in the projects folder. And here you can see two projects, and it's the combined project that we want to share. And if we take a look in there, you'll see the folders for all of the scenes, the drawings for all of the project scenes, and all of the assets that are included in the project. And in the scenes folder, you'll see that there's three scenes that will be included in this share, but there could easily just be one. So let's step up to the project folder. And to share this project, it really is simply a case of zipping up the combined projects folder. And in Windows, that's just a matter of right clicking on the folder and then choosing send to compressed zipped folder. And then you can rename the zip file and then copy or email this file to your other computer. So if I just copy this over to a different folder to simulate copying it to your new computer. And then to unzip it, you just right click on the zip file and choose extract all. Clicking extract 
and then you'll have the extracted folder and inside there is your project folder. So you can just copy this to your projects folder on your other computer and then load each scene as normal. But what if you only want to share one scene from this project? Well that's what we'll look at next. So the second scenario is where you've created a number of scenes in a single project but only want to share one of them. And this could be from one of your own projects or from the default sandbox. So to export a single scene from a project from inside OpenToons, open the file browser. And you might have a room with this file browser panel already in it, as I have here. But if not, then you can open a new file browser from the Windows menu. And then you just browse to the project where your scene is, which could be the sandbox or one of the projects in the projects folder. And it's the combined project we want to look at today. So click on the scenes folder, find your scene in the right hand side, right click it and then choose export scene. And then from this dialog, you can choose to import it into another project. But for our purpose, we want to export it to a brand new project. So choose the project route to create the project in, then tick create new project and type a name for your new project. And then click export. And now you'll have a new project at the project root that contains only the drawings and data for this one scene and not the drawings for the other scenes. And now to share this project containing the one scene, open a Windows Explorer again. And then it's simply a case of zipping up this new project folder. So just right click on the project folder and then choose send to compress zip folder. And you can rename this. And then you can copy or email this to another computer. And I'll just copy it over to a different folder to simulate that happening. And then on the other computer, right click, choose extract all. And then in that folder, you'll find the project. So copy this to the projects folder on your new computer and then load the scene as usual. So the first two scenarios have shown how you can transfer the drawings and assets created in an OpenToons project for all of the scenes and for a single scene. But what if your scene referenced assets outside of the project folder? For instance, audio files, images or videos. And this is where you chose the load option after dragging them into OpenToons. How do you include those in the zip file that you'll share with others? Well, it's pretty simple. First, if you have a project with multiple scenes in and you only want to share one scene, then create a new project for that scene, as I showed in the last scenario. Then open the file browser, and you might have a room with a file browser panel already in it, as I have here. But if not, then open the new file browser from the Windows menu. Then browse to the project where your scene is, and it's this one, the scene with the audio file. Step into the scenes folder, then right click on the scene file itself and choose collect assets. And this will copy into the extras folder any external assets that this scene needs. That's the audio files, videos or images. And it updates the references to those in the scene file. So now you can simply share this whole project folder and it'll be self-contained with everything needed for this scene. So again, open a Windows Explorer and zip up the project folder. And if we take a look inside this project, you'll see in the extras folder, the audio file is now there. So if we step back up to the projects folder, you can now right click on that projects folder and choose send to compressed zipped folder. And again, you can rename this file. And then you copy or email this file to your other computer. So again, I'll simulate copying that to a new computer. And then on your new computer, just right click on the file and choose extract all and the extract button. And then when that's finished, you have this folder that contains the project. So then you can copy this folder 
into your projects folder on your new computer and load the scene as normal. So that's it. That's how you can share projects, scenes and externally referenced assets. And these zip files can also become backups for you to keep older versions of your scenes and projects safe or to include in bug reports to help show problems in your project to the developers. So if you found this useful, subscribe for more tutorials and tips. And join me for my weekly animation live streams. So don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. And I'll see you next time for more tips and help. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.